there's so much that is unique to Spanglish. The the culture, the the people, the enthusiasm that I see here. Maybe it's because it's just a, a two-day camp, and my experience is with like longer camps. But we put so much heart into it, and there's so much emotion that is felt by or that I notice in all the campers and just the campfire during worship service. It's just a, a very special experience. I hope for Spanglish in the future that we could have Spanglish twice a year in every conference, um, all the time. I mean, it's just if we could make it accessible for as many people as we can and just have more youth and young adults involved in the creation of it because it's it's for the young adults for the youth by the youth by the young adults and i think that's what makes the whole concept the whole idea one that just is gonna just transform everything as a volunteer with people my age to design a camp is really awesome we love Jesus, yes we do. We love Jesus, how about you? We love Jesus, yes we do. We love Jesus, how about you? So my experience with Spanglish has been a very genuine one because it gives me the opportunity to surround myself in an environment with other people that have the same beliefs as me. It's very fun because we stay active as youth group. Would you recommend Spanglish to other young people? It really depends because if they're being forced by their parents, I wouldn't recommend it to somebody that's being forced into believing things that they don't want to. Because when I was 14, my first time at Spanglish, my mom would literally get mad if I would say no. I went, my experience wasn't the same. I actually stopped going to the next two Spanglishes and I'm like, hey, you know, I'm mature. I'm gonna give it another try, keep an open mind. So I tried it again with an open heart and I really did learn a lot of things. It's not that I was a twist, so that I